CNO and Mrs. Gilday, Admiral Schultz, heads of your navies and coast guards, I'd like to ask you to join me in thanking International Programs Dean Tom Mangold, who has been performing the duties of MC for this week. Thank you, Tom. and so many others who were critical to our success, including the OPNAV staff, uh, Captain Jess O'Brien, our wonderful technical team. Uh, thank you for all that you did to project us virtually and here and in Pringle Auditorium. Our security teams, both at the college uh, and the base, but also our partnership with local and state uh, security forces our transportation team, our command center, our cadre of naval attaches, and all the non-delegates who made each logistics movement happen seamlessly for us. Uh, it's been a, a tremendous uh, cooperative attempt to provide the best experience for these important dialogues here at our Navy's home of thought, the United States Naval War College. And in the future when you come, we will look forward to hosting you. And until then, we will always take care of your students that you send to our programs. Thank you so much for being part of this shipbuilding program. Now, it's not my term. It's one of our professors, Mark Turner. Uh, but he said, you know, we've got friendships, partnerships, and relationships. And so uh, I'm deeply grateful for all of your effort toward that end while you were here. And now it is my honor to present our Chief of Naval Operations, Mike Gilday, for his closing remarks. Good morning, everyone. Um, we had two simple goals um, for this conference. The first was to create an environment for a candid and open discussion and to be inclusive so that everybody could join in. Uh, the second was to really set the environment for relationship building. Um, and then we, uh, um, uh, my colleagues and I who, uh, who set up the conference and they did all of the work, uh, we talked about what success would look like at the conclusion of the conference. And the first measure of success was your showing up, whether it was here in person or virtually. And so to you, thank you uh, for, for showing up uh, during a global pandemic. This was not easy, uh, but that really was our first measure of success. And the second measure of success was that you go home uh, having um, uh, bonded again with friends that you've known for some time and to make new friends. Uh, and so I think, you know, the goals that we had set and then those measures of success, in my view, I think that uh, you're, at the end you're the judge, but at least from my perspective, I really think that we, uh, that we did well this week. And so th I thank you all. Um, I'd also like to thank the invisible hands uh, who, as Admiral Chatfield mentioned, really played an enormous role uh, in, in, uh, in, in helping us make this possible this week. The first is uh, Admiral Chatfield, where'd she go? And her wonderful husband, David, um, and the entire War College team, including Tom, thank you for, your, for, for moderating. I'd also like to uh, call out, there are three retired heads of Navy, um, Admiral Barrera from Colombia, Admiral Verma from India, and Admiral Sanez from, from Norway. They, together with their spouses, uh, gave Linda and I some very good feedback a few months ago that helped us shape this con uh, the, the, the substance of, of this, um, uh, of this uh, symposium, including the spouses program. And so they have been to two or three or five ISSs in the past, and they were wonderful in helping us. So thank you very much, gentlemen, and to your wives as well. Please pass along our thanks. 
I'd also like to thank uh, uh, officers on our staff uh, from the Pentagon who did really uh, yeoman's work in putting this week together, led by Admiral, Vice Admiral Bill Mers, uh, who was just our seventh fleet commander in Yokosuka, Japan, but now serves in the staff in the Pentagon, along with uh, Rear Admiral Tom Williams uh, and um, uh, the indispensable Captain Jessica O'Brien, who, um, uh, if you get to see Jessica at lunch today, she is a phenomenal leader. Also, uh, our security personnel and medical personnel who kept, who protected us and kept us safe this week, the chefs that fed us uh, multiple meals this week, our Navy reservists who literally came from all over the country to pitch in. I'd also like to thank uh, my colleagues in the United States Navy, uh, my fellow admirals uh, in, the, in the Navy, uh, in the Marine Corps, and in the Coast Guard. Carl, thank you. Uh, for everything that you did this week, along with your spouses. So for the international spouses, I know that you made great friends this week uh, with our U.S. spouses. Uh, that, was not, that was not by happenstance, that was by design. So they uh, took time out of their busy schedules uh, to come here uh, to join you, and I think have been a, a big part of, of this, week's, uh, this week's success. So I thank all of our uh, U.S. colleagues. And finally, I'd like to thank all of our international delegates and their spouses for coming here. Again, thank you very, very much. Um, if I could have uh, the next image, and I'll use this just to close with a, a few comments. And I mentioned this in my introductory remarks, but I think it's a good way to close as well. I did not have this slide when I spoke on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. Um, but a few months ago, I had the opportunity to do a video teleconference with a Navy sailor who was an astronaut on the International Space Station, and he was serving in space along with uh, cosmonauts from Russia and a fellow astronaut from Japan. And he captured for me so clearly the bonds uh, of his fellow star sailors uh, as, as they shared months at a time off of Earth. And he so eloquently described that our giant, big, blue marble of a planet has no lines that separate our people. And it's dominated, of course, by the blue hue of our oceans. So as we close this ISS, I leave you with this image of a blue world where commerce and this week ideas flow freely across the open seas to connect our nations in bonds of fellowship. And sailors and Coast Guardsmen like us maintain strength and unity to keep it so. Thank you all. God bless you all.